Good morning and thank you for joining me for this service of morning prayer on Thursday. I'm going to read to you from a book that has spoken to me over many, many years. It is written by Colin Urquhart and it is called My Dear Child, Listening to God's Heart. And this one is called I Watch Over You. My dear child, I knew you before you were born. You were an object of my desire and my love even when I planned your life. You wonder how this could be true as you are only one of a multitude of people. I see the deliberate disobedience of many, but in every generation I have planned that there will be those who are my own special possession. They fulfill my heart's desire and they radiate my glory in their lives. I watched over the circumstances of your birth, your parents and your family. You wonder at that because things have been far from perfect in your childhood and adolescence. There have been many difficulties and traumas. Did I plan these? Well, my child, I saw you through them all, didn't I? Those difficulties were important in building your character and in teaching you to look to me and depend upon my love. It is quite painful growing up, isn't it? all those tensions you had to go through and the questions. But this is an inevitable process. You had to go through it, but look at you now. You have a heart full of love for me and the rest of your life stretches before you. You can love and serve me for the rest of your life and you will be with me in glory forevermore. This is comforting to know, isn't it? Don't fear what is ahead of you. If I could see you through past problems, I can certainly see you through future experiences. I have seen new life emerging in you through all these developing processes. Since you put your faith in Jesus, my spirit has been producing fruit in more and more areas of your life. I watch this process and it really delights me. You have no idea how it thrills my heart. I love to see myself reflected in my children. This causes them to really be happy and fulfilled. I love to see my joy breaking through in you. You are learning to rejoice in me even when things seem really tough. I have been good to you, haven't I? My dear child. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so this morning's psalm is Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, 
Even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you, the night is as clear as the day, for darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my days written. As day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so our first reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, and long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed, and by your invincible strength you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our next reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 21, beginning at verse 15. When they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to Jesus, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and another will gird you and carry where you do not wish. 
This he spoke signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. Watchful at all times, Lord. We pray for strength to stand with confidence. We pray that you would bring your kingdom with justice and mercy. We pray that you would establish among the nations of this world your scepter of righteousness. Help us, Lord, as we seek Christ in the scriptures, recognizing him in the breaking of the bread. pray, Lord, that you may bind up the brokenhearted, that you would restore the sick, and that you would raise up those who have fallen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, you are always with me. You are with me in the day and in the night. You are with me when I am happy and when I am sad. You are with me when I am healthy and when I am ill. You are with me when I am peaceful and when I am worried. Help us, Lord, to remember that you love us and are with us in everything we do today. Amen. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Do enjoy your day. <laughs>